<laughs> I'm Zoltan, I work at FedEx. Um, and I thought I'm going to talk about something I also don't really know, which is AI, which is new for all of us, right? Um, before I do, I need to apply the, the triangle principle. So my, my, I have a call to action, though, at the end. So stay, stay tuned, though. Um, basically, I believe that LMD is at the, is at the pivotal moment of uh, becoming a truly strategic advisor by uh, everything that actually we, we have been discussing earlier today and put it into practice using AI. It is just a technology and it is not going to be a human uh, person. It doesn't have the creativity that you all have because your DNA is unique uh, in the world. Quick intro, that used to be me. <laughs> agenda, but I'm going to skip that. I'm going to show you these three pictures as a reality check, days of our lives, as Joey would say. 2005, the Pope's inauguration. Uh, same picture, 2013, same event. And then today you have Samsung's AI. <laughs> right, so scary, right? Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> this is not going to take our job, but let's see what we have. Um, so according to IMF, uh, International Monetary Fund, they published uh, a study recently, and they found that uh, AI will impact around 40% of the jobs worldwide. However, in advanced economies, you see 60% of that. Why? Because it's more know-how added, right? So it is happening. When you zoom in on a task level, uh, Boston Consulting Group and Harvard made a, a report recently around tasks. So if you use AI, you're gonna be more efficient, you're gonna do more tasks faster and over 40% higher quality. However, it's important to mention two things. One is that uh, it depends if you receive training on AI or not, so you know how to use it or not. Uh, we talked about prompting before uh, and the importance of giving the right uh, commands. And the other one is it depends on the task. Like I said, for instance, creativity, being a human person, connecting, bonding, that's not going to take away just by the single technology. Uh, if you look at the uh, role of a chief learning officer, there's a website called, and there's all uh, sources uh, in the corners, there's a website called There's an AI for Death. <laughs> this is a lot of, lot of AI tools. It looked at the uh, chief learning officer and related job. So it says that the AI impact, according to AI, is 79%, meaning that the 162 tasks associated to this role uh, by those 2,800, again, 2,800 AI tools that have been identified, is impacting 80% of the, the, the role. If you are lower on the food chain, uh, you are a learning specialist, your impact is 20%, according to AI. Um, moving on, what is AI better uh, compared to us homo sapiens? We talked about it, it does certain things better than we are. In these five different um, aspects, handwriting recognition, speech, image uh, recognition, reading comprehension, and language understanding, you see zero here as the benchmark. So that's what, how all of us can perform. So we are already living in the age where uh, you well, not only can become Mona Lisa and Brad Pitt, uh, and, uh, Brad Pitt but also uh, a machine does a better job in certain things than we do. So what does it mean as, a, as, a, as an employee, as an employer, as an LD professional? Well, we need to learn about AI. We need to understand its capabilities, but also its flaws and the risks associated with it, because it's not a perfect tool. So there are different aspects of AI. Can you see actually? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. So there are AI models behind it. It is basically just a specialized software trained on large data sets for general and specific tasks. If you want to learn about that, LinkedIn actually, and it has its uh, list of courses listed for uh, until July 1st for free. So you can go and learn about AI yourself. There's the link in the corner. You will get the slides after this for five euros each. Um, <laughs> there's also, uh, wow, well, I'm gonna lose my job because of your Then you can also learn uh, about AI by AI. So there are websites, there's, uh, there's an AI for that. You can also uh, follow a course that was actually created by artificial intelligence in a LinkedIn style, all the L&D fluff involved in the lectures and 
and chapters and so on. Next one is uh, AI agents. So our good old Bill said that five years from now, and I've been uh, in a uh, Gates notes very recent last year. Um, <laughs> Originally, AI yeah, times is very long time ago, but he said we won't have, we won't be using apps. There will be an agent knowing you, uh, and that's what an AI agent is. So basically, the specific it uses specific data sets and environmental inputs for specific tasks. So if you look at this website, uh, there's an AI for that. If you look, if you search for learning, how can you help learning in an organization? There's a bunch of them listed. In this case, I think it's 70 something, something, and you have the pricing. So does it cost money or is it completely free? So that takes away a lot of things that we talk about that you don't like doing, all the analyzing and so on and so forth. Uh, and there's this last one, if you really want to get familiar with, uh, with, with, with um, uh, AI, is the prompt engineering. So it's basically, it gives you, uh, it's a process of structuring the text that can be interpreted and understood by a generative AI model. So there was a, uh, a, a business case that I also linked there that looked at the seven different roles the AI can play. For instance, a coach, a tutor, a learning body. And so you can use advanced prompting examples in this Wharton Business School re resource that you can see there. And you can see how AI acts and so on and so forth. And basically you can have a conversation with AI using um, the prompt engineering. So if you're in, in your organization, you're mentoring and coaching something that is missing because of resource constraints and so on and so forth, you can look into this. Um, and the last but not least is, is the key uh, message of, of today's presentation, it's definitely over going in five minutes, is um, <laughs> here's a bold claim. So today's uh, uh, AI is, is, is big, has a big impact on the business as the internet. So 30 years ago, everybody was talking about the internet, like gray-haired executives were like, oh my god, internet, you know? And then these like, teenagers came in telling them about the internet yesterday. And they made big money on it, but it's gonna change the way we work and the way um, uh, roles are having a certain uh, task associated to it. So executives will need to see to believe the, the impact, uh, but there are also quality concerns, there's also legal uh, concerns and so on. So I believe, and let me uh, pause for a second to catch my breath, also for the people on YouTube. Uh, there's a unique moment for L&D. And why? It's because we have a chance to redefine the strategic importance of L&D within organizations. Why? I all listed that. It's very corporate, very uh, tiring at this moment of time in the day to day. But I think the most important is the last one. It is that by leveraging AI, we can position L&D as a key driver of organizational strategy, creating a direct impact. And I love the conversation about conversations what we had before, because it's not just about building uh, the, all, all the things that we've been already doing and doing it in a better way, but it's also how can we truly reinvent what L&D can do? How can we add the, 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 what really matters? to us as human beings, and how can we improve the, uh, the workplace, of, workplace of today and tomorrow. So I have a call to action, and a pretty woman, <laughs> and it's the following. So I found this in mind tools, and I would like to invite you, if you're interested in doing this experiment, and find me after this uh, presentation, um, identify an organizational problem. It can be very operational, was an L&D uh, person, uh, or it can be very high level, what we've been discussing before. And then we can do like an A-B testing. So the group A, it can be all L&D team, it can be sales team, but they need to do the same thing, right? So group A would be given access and training to AI, and group B wouldn't, and they would need to perform the same thing. It can be brainstorming, it can be something that needs to be done, it can be hard skills, soft skills, it can be higher purpose. And then step three would be measuring the impact of AI, and comparing uh, what we learn and to be strategic, bring it to the leadership and tell them, hey, we can do these things together with our employees because the adults, they don't need to be spoon-fed. Enjoy the rest of your evening and finally, if you are... Uh, <laughs>